right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing right. his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches. Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters we've right. ever seen, like Jack Hermanson. Guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get some minutes. Yeah, nothing pitter patter about it. No. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy there's no wasted movements everything he does he does with a purpose he goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish and he gets it done bruce lee is the absolute best bruce lee is the man his grappling his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight but there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great bruce lee no if you're fighting bruce lee you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away and now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight so these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC welterweight champion, Johnny Big Rig Hendricks. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Big kick lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. Oh! Nice punch by Lee. 
Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. The next with a right. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right punches there. Just missed with that right hand. Effective punch there by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Able to check that kick as well. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just over three minutes to go now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, Hendricks going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Where's the takedown? Good right hand right there. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming from. Oh, spinning back fist! Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Until you stop it, I'm gonna keep kicking. Body kick after body kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Hendricks' shot is blocked. What a body kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Nice right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. That uppercut will work. Sneaky head kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Hendricks' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and... At some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Big leg kick land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a strike. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Right under the elbow, the body keep lands. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Ooh, blocks the shot. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Beautiful kick. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Ooh, big shot, man. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Just out of the range with that right hand. Kick to the body by Lee. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Back and forth we go. Looked like a good knee to the body, but it's blocked. Big kick land. Beautiful lever change. Leads to the takedown. Oh, hammer fist here by Hendricks. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 20 seconds left. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, yeah, right here. Hendrix's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Okay, settle down, settle down. Now, this strike is way too amateur. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. 
No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Head off the center line, slips the punch. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big body kick. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet, and to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, right-left combo by Lee. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big body kick lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. Big Rick gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Went for the inside leg kick. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Beautiful body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands. He hurts. Able to check the high kick. Upper cut lands for him. Pretty good right hand. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big knee! Outstanding output on both sides. Watch the strike. Oh, here comes the counter just out of range. by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Landed out left hook. Oh, right under the elbow, right under the front. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently to that part.
That was not good. Nice strike. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Okay, listen up. You've been here before, all right? That was nothing. You're going to go out there and stay on the outside and take it. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Lee's shot there is blocked. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Good jab. Nice kick there by Hendricks. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all of his shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, single collar tie now. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, Hendricks gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Head kick lands. It looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Nice leg kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Look at him top of the wood. Top of the wood with those leg kicks. Just out of range with that right. lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Hendricks gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Nice head kick. Leg kick checked by Lee. Oh, look at the welts all over that right thigh. Really starting to bruise now. Nice body kick right under the elbow. The right hand just misses. Real quick leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Hendricks. And he caught the kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Hendricks going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. And they separate. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice little shot lands. Caught with 
that punch. Oh, big head kick. Lost that kick to the body. Now connects with a right. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, man. <laughs> you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. All right, let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. Sit down. Sit down. Listen. You are losing this fight, okay? Your wrestling will win you this fight. You're going to go out. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? There's no tell on that leg kick. Ooh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Oh, nice right hand. Well, oh, he missed with that right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hendrix's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Nice body kick. Hendricks gets touched by that kick there. Well, you can chalk this up to a forgettable night at the office. He is losing the fight. His cardio is essentially on empty. Might be time to pass that control. It's time to pass the stick. Hand it over to your homeboy, man. It's over. All right. And there's an A for effort, but it's over. Real nice body kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Attempts the front kick there. This fight's gonna be over. This. What a great day of mixed up his attack. He didn't stay in the course. He mixed it up. He went high. He was going low. And now he's got to hurt very bad. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment of this. Oh! Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow up shot that will finish the fight. Lees has got full mount now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's got his back now. Lees right back to the full mount here. Escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Get right here. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Oh, effective strike there by Hendricks. Liver kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time.
there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. 30 seconds to go. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice straight punch. 20 seconds left. Powerful leg kick lands. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Just misses with the right. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly. Pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly.